Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Warren Dr. Ebenezer Marco of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith, graphic online. Here's, here's the interesting thing. This morning, I'm, I'm going to capture my thoughts with the word writing upon the forehead. Writing upon the forehead. Not writing as you're doing it, but what is written upon the forehead. The writing upon the forehead. Yeah, that's a better way to put it. The writing upon the forehead. You know what? David comes to, uh, in, in, in 1 Samuel chapter 17, a very powerful piece spreads out before us there, full of principles. David comes to the battlefield. And the Bible said when he came to the battlefield, you know, anointed by God, he came, he came to deliver Israel from the, from the threats of Goliath, from the fear of Goliath. That was one of the way, the, the purpose for which God brought him to the battlefield. His father sent him to bring food to his brothers, and his father sent him to look after the welfare, seek the welfare of his brothers. But when he came, there was another call, there was another divine pool. But here's the interesting thing. When he arrived at the battlefield and began to ask questions of destiny, he began to ask questions of gifting and, 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 and anointing, he began to ask those questions, the brothers began to blast him. They were blasting him and they were blasting him. Do you know why? Because there was nothing written upon the forehead of his face to say, here comes Goliath, the Goliath killer. Here comes the giant killer. See what they said to him. Don't you know you and the naughtiness of your heart? You, with whom have you left the few sheep that we, we, our father has to come? And they, we know that you have come to be a spectator. They saw him as a spectator, but in his spirit, maybe what they were reading was spectator. But hey, he was going to be a performer. He was going to be a participator. He was going to, uh, he was going to remove that fear and remove that scourge upon the armies of Israel. He was going to do it. And because... Your, his destiny was not written upon the forehead of his face. They were misreading him and were accusing him. Listen, no man's destiny is written upon the forehead of his face. Be careful. How you judge people and how you treat people. Be careful. Because you may be forced to eat your words. Be careful. Be careful when you relegate people. They said to him, don't you know you are in the naughtiness of your heart? They relegated him to the, to the value of naughtiness, to the, to the value of mischief. Be very careful. Because that wasn't, because it was not written on his forehead. What he was about to do was not written. His destiny was not written upon the forehead of his face. They read him wrongly. You go around, keep reading people, and keep reading them wrongly. In the end, you pay the price of the surprise. And God will make you eat your words. Well, the choices are yours to either go around reading people's destinies upon the forehead of his face or their faces. Be very careful. You may see the person down today. Tomorrow, you meet the person up. So take heed. See you later.